Let's take a look at each of these concepts and see what they do, and perhaps more importantly, what they don't do. There are several companies offering manually adjusted slider type hitches, but the drawback is that they're a hassle to use. They don't always function like you hoped they would. And if you ever forget, well then you have an accident with damage to your trailer, truck, and the potential for injuries to passengers. With a manual slider hitch, you're accepting the responsibility of never forgetting, no matter the situation, that you'll have to stop before making your turn, get out of the truck, go back and try to reach into the truck bed, or climb up on the fender to unlock the hitch, leaving it free to slide forward and back in the bed of your truck. Then get back in the truck, set your trailer brakes, and pull forward, attempting to drag the hitch back in the bed so that you can get back out and lock it into place before making your turn. Some of these hitches even recommend lowering your trailer landing gear to take the weight off the hitch so the trailer can drag the hitch back easier. Of course, if you can get the hitch locked into the back position and it creates enough clearance to make the turn, then the hitch is too far behind the truck axle to tow safely at highway speeds. So all those steps have to be repeated in reverse to get the hitch back into the safe towing position where the weight of the trailer and its pivot point are back up over the truck's axle. It's a hassle and it sometimes works if you always remember to do it. But what happens if you ever forget? How often do you want to go through all those steps? And how many times do you think you will forget? There's obviously a lot of drawbacks to manual slider hitches. 